friends welcome back to another video we have made it to the sunshine coast now it is thursday my competition is on saturday in about an hour or so we're just off to go see my coach and have a little in-person check-in and a training session otherwise it's pretty chilled out until tomorrow afternoon when i get my tan i'm super looking forward to this show i feel like it's going to be really good that is quite a lineup of amazing girls that i will be competing against for this show, I am doing bikini rookie, bikini novice, under 23 and opens. Um, super grateful that I still fit under 23s. It was my birthday and I turned 23 probably about 20 days ago now. Yeah, so super excited, looking forward to it. Um, stay tuned. <laughs> Just to quickly add some context to those last few clips while I edit this video, during our check-in on Thursday night, um, our coach has a youth centre from 3pm to 6pm Monday to Friday here on the Sunshine Coast. So we just went there to see everything and get a session in. Leon also plays um, indoor soccer and they were down a person so they asked Jared to <laughs> join and yes. he used to play soccer back in the day. Yeah, um, but it's when I was been, 30 kilos lighter, It's but... been about four to five years. So yeah. That's why he was sitting on the floor stretching, and that's why there is a random indoor soccer clip. Uh, but that's what we got up to. Did you have fun? fun? I had fun. I scored a goal in the first 20 seconds. So yeah. It was pretty cool. cool. It was really good. My legs were so heavy. They still are. I've got, got some grazes. Grazes all over <laughs> my knees. But no, it was good. Yeah. It was very good. Very fun. And just wanted to add some context. Yeah, so you know what the hell we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, I am just cooking myself breakfast, um, while that cooks I thought we could do a little catch up, um, I'm off to go to my coach's gym at 7am this morning just to have a in person check in. Food wise for this peak week everything has been the same as it was pre peak week, so 25 grams of fat, 150 or 60 grams of protein, I always forget, 160 grams of protein and then it was 140 grams of carbs that got jumped up to 150. And then today I've got a high carb day of 240 grams. So I'm super duper excited for that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna finish cooking breakfast and then I'll show you when it's done. This has been my absolute go-to. So two bits of toast, one with Biscoff, one with um, cheese, egg whites and ham, my protein coffee, and then just egg whites on the side. <laughs> session it was really really good carbs have been um, pushed up to 250 now we are just going to hang out until my tan at 2 30 probably edit my last week's YouTube video and hopefully get that up today um, I am breaking out so bad so just ignore that but I'm gonna start eating my food <laughs> We are off to go get my base coat tan and to register. Oh yeah. Bigger one? <laughs> I'm really zoomed in. Okay. How's your feet looking? Don't know. My toes need to wipe down. Oh, don't put the dogs out like that. Yeah, that one there. Bottom away. <laughs> You gonna wear that tomorrow for bikini? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are back from tan and registration. You are. I'm just gonna lay this out on the bench. We got to do a little tour around the stage, which was nice. Oh yes, that was really yes. nice. That we get to good. go on the stage. Yes. So we had been cool. there before, obviously, for Jared's show. Um, but as I was telling Jared, I don't remember any of it because I was <laughs> so fucking nervous for him. Like I was Peaky. petrified for him. Yeah. My anxiety was so bad. Mm. All right, let's lay this out and then we'll show you. All right, this is my little haul. So we've got two protein shakers, two little protein, what are they called? Uh, funnels. Yep. Protein pre-workout funnels. Not gonna lie, 
strawberry kiwi. So fucking excited for this. Um, and then just a bunch of protein samples, um, pre-workout samples and more protein and another coffee sample. Um, blue shirts this year. I got an XL to have an oversized fit. Blue seems to be the theme. It's also the yes. backdrop, so. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and number 43. Which is and pretty, pretty damn cool. Yeah. And a couple bags that I'll never use. They're probably going to go in the bin. Not going to lie. Um, but yeah, love that. Can't wait to try everything. Also really excited for this berry cheesecake. Cheesecake? Probably. Yum. Hell yeah. That'd be good pretty in excited. oats, I reckon. Yes. Mm. So as soon as it comes with two, does that mean I get one? You can have them both. Um, we're just going to kick back for the rest of the day. As I say in nearly every single clip, but that's literally all we're doing. Yeah, um, I up, rest yeah, up. Played my Switch this morning. I don't know if I'm going to go back to that. We might actually watch YouTube videos. We've got a lot of YouTube to catch up on from catch up on. when we were wearing cans. Yeah, and so, then NBA. And yeah. Then yeah, so, yeah, so we're probably just gonna go watch YouTube. See you in the morning. I need a shit. <laughs> Forty-three, Amanda Porridge. Let's go, Amanda! Woo! Making your Mr. Green Beat list, Bikini Twenty-three champion, number thirty-one, Ashley Halliwell.
fifth, please come forward, uh, 43, Amanda Borich. Let's go, Amanda! Red Rover. I don't even remember what I entered. So, Bikini Rookie was first up. Bikini Rookie was first up. Yes, I took fifth in Bikini Rookie. Absolutely stacked lineup. You'll see there was like um, 12 or something girls. Yeah, it was, and they were on stage for so long. It would have been so hard to judge because all the girls. I'll pop the photos up in these corners. Pretty much 90% of the girls could have been first or fifth in any order and you wouldn't have complained. So very good, very, very, very Amazing. good. Amazing. Um, in Bikini Novice, I didn't place, but I got this really freaking stunning participation medal. It's honestly probably Amanda's favourite medal. Mm. It's pink and gold. We so. walked past the table and I was like, I need one of those. So yeah, very good. Um, so I kind of manifested that for myself, really. Yeah. <laughs> um, next up was under 23s and I came second. Second place, baby. She looked incredible. Thank you, thank you. And last was Bikini Opens, which I got fifth in. Super exciting, super grateful for out of both days. Also, fifth place opens first time ever competing. You've got to be happy with that. You know, you're on the right track. Like, it's your first yeah, time. Was like, there only five of these? No, there was seven of these on stage. Mm. Pretty sure there was seven. Six or seven. Six or seven on stage. So, mm. that to me just shows your you've got the ability to go very far. Thank you. If you get that in opens on your mm -hmm. first try. So to recap no off -season. both of my shows, I loved every minute of it. It was really good. Um, the day goes so fast, but I'm yeah. definitely in the moment and did my best to yeah. we got there enjoy at, everything. We got there at eight o'clock and you're like, oh, we're going to see you for ages. And then all of a sudden, oh, Amanda, you got to get ready yeah. to go on stage. Like, um, to get five out of six placings in both of my shows, I am super grateful for. Super excited and very proud of myself. I can't believe it's all over. Um, I'm excited to go eat with the team and my coach tonight. And yep. then, you maybe know, maybe you'll see me again in 18 months up on the stage. Yes. Well, the thing is, you haven't had a proper off season. You went straight into prep with no off season. Yeah. So getting a good off season under your belt, whoo, did some damage. Previous to this, um, if you're new here, I haven't really spoken about it. I think I went to the gym. I probably started when I was... Uh, 19 or something and I had a broken wrist when I started um, mm. and then I got a job working at the gym and this is when I went met this one um, so I've only really been training for probably two years probably training two, for two and a half, years. Yeah. but I, I've never really had a goal I was always like no like I'm not gonna step on stage it's not for me never really worried about diet mm. um, you know. Just trained for the fun of it because I loved it, enjoyed it. It wasn't until seven months ago that I messaged my coach who I was getting monthly programs from. I'm like, listen, if we're going to do a show, we're going to do it now. Yeah. Especially be right being now. you could do under 23s. As soon as you yeah. miss that, there's no more under 23s. So. Um, and I'm not, if I'm someone, if I want to do something, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to wait a year before I step on stage. I'm like, we're going to do it now. Mm -hmm. So we started prepping seven months ago for this show. Um, so yeah, I haven't have a proper off season so i'm very excited to be able to have one now and eat have properly, a goal and live and... properly and not that you weren't eating properly or lifting properly but no, better but, but to have a goal and something that i'm trying to achieve rather than just going for the fun of it and having a goal having a goal outside of prep i think is the biggest thing because yeah. you're not in prep you've got a goal the whole time but when you leave prep if you weren't to do bodybuilding again you have no goal that's when you start doing what the hell am i doing with myself yeah, exactly. but if you have a goal when you leave prep you'll be sweet yeah it's all finished, super excited. Oh my God, let's peel these bad boys off together. And I am buggered. Oh yeah. Damn. All right, we're gonna go shower and get ready for dinner. Anyway, um, not sure what's gonna happen with the videos. Because anyway, I have been filming like weekly prep videos. So I don't know if I'll be posting weekly anymore, but we'll see. We'll see what comes from it. You'll we'll probably just get a random video once a month. I'm gonna have a massive white fox haul coming soon. Um, my boyfriend buys my thousand dollar white fox mm -hmm. card, so stay tuned for that. I have just gotten ready for dinner now. We're about to take some pickies and then head off in about 20 minutes. This is the outfit. 
I am so excited to go eat. I have been eyeing off the pizza or the palmy. I'm just very grateful and happy right now. Um, I just walking over for some buffet brekkie. Our hotel is just down there. Um, buffet brekkie's here. Um, super duper excited. <coughs> yes, very excited for a buffet brekkie. Yeah, you're very keen. <laughs> Dutchies! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. We just got back from buffet breakfast, which was delightful, and we thought we would try our new monsters. So my bestie Kristen got this from Japan, um, which is the ultraviolet zero sugar monster. And upon our ventures to the venue yesterday morning, Jared found the Liberty Servo has the watermelon. Yeah. I'm trying to see what country this is from. They have this in America and that, but this is in America. This is in some weird, weird language. But Japan has a small can. That's like a large Red Bull can. Yeah. That's, it's probably, it's actually smaller than a large Red Bull can. Like the medium Red Bull can. Mm. So that's pretty cool. Now to spoil the fun, Jared's already tried the watermelon, but that's okay. I have tried the watermelon. I bought two of these yesterday and they cost me $18. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, it's fine. Let's crack them open. See how it's going. Pseudon sounds better. Oh, do you want me to do it because of your fingies? I'm excited. That is a, that is, that is a strong <coughs> little tab. <coughs> oh, that one sounds better though. Right now, because I've you tried that, let me try that first. Holy oh, fuck, this one's really sweet. In the morning, <clears throat> I think in the morning that it, it's very sweet. That is um, I don't know if you've ever had grape hubba bubba, but it's just that in liquid form. This is very watermelony. It's very um, it's very fizzy. I feel compared to the others. That is like... straight up hubba bubba. There's okay. nothing else but hubba bubba in that. I've no had this. So. This is less sweet than that. <laughs> no, this one's like a different kind of sweet though. This is this sour. Is this is kind of sour. Mm. Mm. So I'm guessing you want that one? Yeah, I think I prefer the, the grape. It's not like as hectic like I find, bubble. Like, I find it's um, carbonated. Yeah, that's what it is. It's not as carbonated, I feel, as the watermelon. I feel like with grape things, they make... They don't make me sick, but I feel like it should be a chewing gum. Yeah. Every time, bubble. every time I had like the bubblegum flavored lollies, I feel like I shouldn't eat them because mm. they, they taste like something I'm not meant to swallow. Yeah. I think that's what it is with grape with me. You just yeah. feel like you're not meant to be swallowing it. Yeah. Because I'm so used to having hard bubble as a kid. The plan is we're just going to go to, have I already said it? We're going to go shopping and then we're going to go to Holy Moly with some friends. Yeah. Um, so Bye. I'll have those clips in here too. Watch me win Holy Moly. 19 yeah. holes, baby. No. 18, whatever it is. Bye. Bye.